So I finally finished playing Last of Us Part 2 and a lot of people are talking about this game for a long time because of various reasons. Some reasons are good and some reasons are just completely terrible. But I believe that a lot of people have not understood what exactly The Last of Us 2 story is trying to tell us. That's my opinion of it actually. And, and this is not a review of any kind, I'm just talking about the game because I thought like this is a perfect moment to talk about the game and you know tell what the game is exactly trying to say. So if you're watching this video, this video will have heavy spoilers of the game. So if you haven't played this game yet, do not watch this video. I'm telling you right now, don't watch the video, leave. It's completely fine because you will have spoilers. So the game revolves around two people that is Ellie and Abby and they're showing both perspectives of these characters in this game. At first we see that the relationship between Ellie and Joel is kind of different. Joel is trying to connect even more with Ellie, trying to find stuff that Ellie likes and Ellie later down in the line finds out that Joel actually lied to her straight to her face and that's why the relationship between Ellie and Joel is kind of different and Ellie in a way hates Joel because he lied to her straight away. But then in 2 hours of the game we saw that Joel got killed by a person named Abby who we don't know at this point and now of course Ellie would be like filled with revenge and, and everybody who has seen that scene, everybody is hating Abby right now and they want to go on that revenge path and that's where Ellie goes as well. And Ellie at this point doesn't care about anyone so she goes on a killing spree for a long time and then later on we switch to a different character and that is Abby, a character that everybody hates right now we play that character. So Naughty Dog is kind of forcing every single one of these people to play a character that they absolutely hate for the next 10 hours because they want to show her side of the story. For some people it did work and for some people it did not work at all because they hate Abby so much but the reason why they wanted to show Abby's side of story is because they wanted to show her perspective of what things are happening. And we do see why she goes and kills Joel because Joel actually did a very shit thing back in Last of Us where he killed the doctor when Ellie was prepped for surgery and that doctor was the dad of Abby. I mean of course now you see the reason why Abby was so angry and so filled with revenge to get to Joel similar to how Ellie is angry now that Joel is dead because of Abby. So now we saw that Abby instead of getting into a relationship with Owen which Owen actually goes into and wants that relationship she just ignores it and instead jacks herself up all the way so that she can get to Joel and kill him. That was her sole purpose in this game. But here's one thing that Abby was having that is PTSD. She was having nightmares of the same scene where she would go to that room and see her dad dead. She would have that dream over and over again and even after she killed Joel, the man who killed her dad, even after then she was having the same nightmares. Which means her suffering didn't actually end so she did not know what to do next. And soon down the line you find these two kids who are from SCARS, another group, but they are not SCARS anymore, they left that community but that community is against them and trying to find them and kill them. And those kids helped Abby at the time when she was about to die, she was hanging off a rope. And so at this point we saw Abby and these two kids running away from these scars so that they can get to safety. Now here's another interesting thing that happened in this game is that Abby saw another nightmare and instead of seeing her dad, she saw those two kids dead. Which means now she was afraid that those two kids might die so she went back and saved them and even got her arm fixed, Yara's arm fixed because she wanted that to happen. Similar to how her dad wanted to save this zebra in the initial moments of the game because he was hurting. Similarly, Abby just wanted to save these kids because first of all they saved her and it was her job in a way that she should save these kids and she did. Even though at the end Yara dies but she has that bond between Lev and herself. Similar to how Joel has a bond with Ellie when we were playing Last of Us, he didn't like Ellie at first and then slowly he had a bond that he never thought he could have with a girl like Ellie. So in similar ways, Abby has a bond with a kid like Lev who she never thought she will have because first of all she hated Scars and they are from Scars. But she liked that kid and she had that affection, that bond that we also see in the game as they were sharing each other's fears and lot more things. On the other hand, Ellie is just going on a killing spree. She doesn't even care about anyone. She's going on a killing spree, killing every single one of them and in turn she even killed a girl who was pregnant. She didn't know that she was pregnant and she found out she was. That shook her down the core. She felt horrible. She did not know what she was doing and that's why you see her just sitting down shaking because what the hell she just did? 
and at this point she was so much more scared because she knew that Dina is also pregnant and anything like that can also happen so I think at that point Ellie was all done with this killing she didn't want to do anything after that point and that's where we see this scene where Abby found Ellie and because Ellie killed all her friends and now you play as Abby trying to kill Ellie and Ellie is your boss which was really interesting to play it was very hard for me because I died so many times and then Dina comes from out of nowhere and then Dina was about to die similarly to how Ellie killed Mel but this time Abby did not kill Dina because first of all Lev told her not to and second of all she did not want to go down that road because she has Lev with her and she would rather go with Lev than going in this dark path so she left both of them and just went away and that's why she said never show your face ever again and even at that point Ellie didn't want to do anything so because months passed and Ellie and Dina were living together in a farm they had a baby they were living together just fine but still in this position as well Ellie was also having PTSD she was seeing Joel in her dreams whenever she sees blood she sees Joel dead or Joel dying and crying for help and she realizes that maybe I've done maybe I've not done one thing that I should do to make this all go away so that I can live normally and that is to take revenge on Abby and that's why she set on a course one more time to go against Abby at this point you can see that you're not really making right choices you think that this is the right choice but that is not the right choice at that very moment and that's why Dina wanted her to be with her but she didn't she left and she found Abby Abby was not the same and Abby did not want to do anything all she wanted to do is just leave with Lev nothing more that's why she didn't want to fight but Ellie Ellie just Ellie just threatened the kid Lev to fight with her and then she did fight and then she was about to kill Abby right there but then she realized again that Joel and Ellie had the same situation that right now Abby and Lev are having similar to how Joel was just trying to save Ellie and just wanting to live with Ellie for the entire life similarly Abby also wanted to do the same with Lev to live for her entire life because she has that affection and that's where she finally understands what Joel did and why he did it so in the end taking revenge on Abby was not her purpose or was not the way to get closure but it was forgiving Joel for what he did was the way to get closure for Ellie and that's why she didn't take the revenge and that's why she didn't kill Abby and a lot of people did criticize about this and I get this why because she is going on a revenge and she just doesn't kill her but the fact is if she goes in that road that road becomes more darker and who knows maybe the next day she would kill herself because there is no one to live for because she's already feeling all these negatives she's already feeling worse about herself at what she did by killing Abby and letting Lev like live alone taking Abby away from Lev that is similar to what Abby did with Ellie taking that path would have taken Lev into that same path and she would feel ultimately horrible about it she would probably kill herself what's the point then and instead she wanted to live and this time is the time where she wanted to make a different decision and she did that's why she didn't kill and she went back in the farm there's no one to be around Dina has left her fingers are gone she cannot play guitar she lost almost everything except that small little hope that she got by not killing Abby at that very point of time so now all she can do is so now all she has is that little hope that small hope that everything is going to be good from now on if she takes her own path maybe she can go back to Jackson we don't know but that hope can help her move on with her life instead of just killing her or something like that you know it is so close to real life and how you would take decisions when things like this happen you see both the perspectives you see both the sides of the characters Ellie and Abby and I feel like Ellie was most miserable Abby turned out to be better than Ellie and you just see these two characters and and the story was trying to say that there's no hero there's no villain circumstances have made them this way that they act in a certain way and they make very very awful decisions and that turns out to give awful results as well a lot of things happen in this game and a lot of small stories went by it was really cool but this major plot is what it is maybe i will criticize one thing is probably the placement of scenes could have been better maybe if you would have played abby before joel's death maybe that would have been better maybe you wouldn't feel that much of hate maybe the pacing would have been better when you switch from ellie to abby because the pacing does go way up and then when you go switch abby it goes all the way down so maybe that would have been better but overall storyline I think that's pretty good. I don't think so it's a bad storyline. I don't think so the ending was lazy or horrible. The ending was nice. Although I will say this, this game is not for everybody. Maybe not a lot of people will enjoy this game. 
a lot of people might enjoy this game i was one of them who enjoyed this game throughout and i'll play it one more time because i just want to play this game one more time i just love this game even more and it has affected me in so many ways possible now for the people who don't like this game of course you will feel bad that you have paid 60 dollars for a game and you don't like the storyline that's fine that's not a problem you don't like the story you don't like where it went that's okay that's the opinion that you guys have but giving death threats to devs and voice actors that's way across the line that is something that how stupid can you be to just do that that is utterly stupid if you don't like the game just don't play it that's as simple as that don't just give death threats to the guys who a uh, voice acted abby and who modeled as abby you're getting death threats to them you're giving death threats to director of the game to troy to ashley johnson this behavior is ridiculous and i do not stand that but if you guys have other opinions about this game let me know in the comments below don't hate on this game if you have something to say on how this game would have gone and uh, what you feel could have been a better ending or what you feel could have been a better story just let me know in the comments below it's okay to give your opinions in the comments below i would definitely love to read those thank you so much guys for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed it hit the like button if you did subscribe right now for some more awesome videos coming pretty soon and do follow me on twitch where i will live stream more and more awesome games in the future bye bye have a good one and see you next time